Hey guys, I'm out here on the Red River for the Bassmaster Open down here. Um, this is my first day I've ever been here. Never seen it before until today. So practice is going to be kind of interesting. But so far I've caught a few fish today. Um, had two carp jump on my boat. One about killed me. Almost took out my light. And haven't got a snake on my boat yet. So that's, that's a plus. Hopefully one doesn't crawl up behind me while I'm making this video. But uh, going into this, I am kind of fishing for first because... If you have kept up with my channel at all and saw what I did on Ross Barnett, the first day I had some boat trouble, ended up placing a hundredth in the tournament, uh, and that's not good enough to make the Elite Series. Um, so pretty much I, for the last two, I'm going to fish for first, and hopefully I can make enough money so I can fish all nine next year. That's, I guess, the plan for the, the working man now is you got <laughs> if you if you can win one, then next year you can fish all nine. It's that easy. So. And you might still not, might not be able to. I don't even know if I'll be able to if I win one. That's still a, a big ask money and uh, time-wise from work. But anyway, I'm just pretty much picking out a section of the river, and I'm just going to spend four days picking it apart, and hopefully I find something spectacular by the end of that. If not, I'm either just going to go somewhere else and see what I can find there, or... I mean, maybe if I find something that I think I can get some big bites in, I'll go ahead and, you know, fish that. But so far, hasn't happened. I've heard this place is terrible. Um, so far, I believe that. I, I fished, I didn't fish a lot today. I just fished a little bit, but the, I think I caught two keepers. Um, got like five bites total. But I spent a lot of time just driving around, looking at stuff, seeing if I can see at least all the all the stuff I want to see in the area um, and, and I'm just gonna kind of wing it from there over the next couple of days of practice I'm probably just gonna keep going in some backwaters and stuff and then uh, a little closer to the tournament I, I might fish a little bit more and just see what you know see if I can get more bites um, I'm gonna try not to set the hook on a lot of fish leading up to the tournament because I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of bites to be had but so far I I'm not seeing a ton of boats in the areas that I'm in. I don't know, you know, if it. We'll see what happens on tournament day, but that's kind of the bad thing coming into tournaments like this, where you haven't ever been to the body of water before. You know, if if you fished a tournament on a lake before, it helps out a lot because you know a lot of times where the crowds are going to be. And leading up to this one, I, I, you know, I'm picking out this area, but you don't really know until tournament day if you're gonna if you're gonna come in there and there's gonna be 900 boats in there or or not I mean you can sometimes you can kind of judge it if it's really just that good compared to everywhere else then obviously 99% of the time everybody else is gonna find it but I've had that burn me a few tournaments before actually the last tournament on Ross Barnett I'd never been there before and the which it was a small lake for the crowd you know the 225 boats everybody was just on top of each other but the areas that I was fishing just had tons of boats in them. and I really in practice um, one of them had quite a few in it, so I kind of expected it, but then the other one that I fished, I didn't quite realize how popular that area actually was until <laughs> tournament day when I came in there and there was just boats everywhere. So that's also something that's going to kind of play into this is come out on tournament day, you just, you got to play it by ear and hopefully you don't pick a backwater that has a hundred boats in it or something, but We'll see what happens. I'll try to post a couple more videos throughout practice to keep you guys updated, but stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you on the next one.